batter up sports card collectors. G-dubs is here, and guess what else is here? Opening day is this week, and I'm so excited for a multitude of reasons. I have an excellent video coming um, on actual opening day uh, to celebrate it, and it's probably, I don't want to hype it, because it all comes down to the cards. It's all a lottery. It's, you know, scratch tickets after all. Uh, it's going to be the best product or collection of product that I've opened on this channel to date. So just a little excitement there, okay? But the other thing I'm excited about is finally, finally, I feel like Dwayne Johnson, The Rock in the WWE, finally, we've got a blaster box. As I knock over all of my stands, we've got a blaster box. We've got a hanger box. We've got two value packs, and guess what? We finally, finally have a hanger pack. I mean, a, um, a value pack or a fat pack, whatever you want to call it. No, not from Steel City Collectibles. Uh, still haven't received them from there because of the tins being uh, constantly pushed back, and I ordered them together. So my, uh, my fat packs are, are just sitting there waiting, hopefully. But this means we can finally... Finally, look at this. Oh, this beautiful, beautiful sight here. Just, just take a gander. It's, I, I'm trying to set this up nicely. There we go. Just something that looks, look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. Um, we finally can do a retail review. So I'm so excited. Not going to waste any more time. Let's get right to it because we've got a lot of cards to open up here. Um, so we're going to start off with some retail packs. Now, retail packs are basically, in my opinion, a retail pack is for those who are in desperate need of a fix. <laughs> there is, um, you know, it takes a lot to pull. Look at that. Look, look at that. We've got a rainbow and a blue parallel. So I'm going to shut my mouth while I'm trying to talk crap about these retail packs. Uh, and we get the Luis Robert Gold Cup, which is, for some reason, a tough pull. So there we go. Our first sleeved card. We're putting it up on the big boy row right up here. Um, and I'm just going to I'm gonna hold off on saying anything because we're going to get interrupted here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That's what we like to see. And it's a vertical card. I would go nuts if this is a Bobby Dahlbeck. It's not, it's a Casey Mize rainbow foil right off the bat. Are you kidding me? That is one way to start a video. You know, I'm getting a little tired of pulling the absolute best card in the first pack of each video. <laughs> it's, uh, it's getting to be a problem for, for my viewing rate. It's, uh, you know, you're gonna drop off once you see that. And then we get an Evan White. So we get a Nomar Mazzaro uh, um, Walmart exclusive blue. Uh, so we'll put that over in just the in, in the good pile. And then Evan White, little 52 retail exclusive. Love that. So one thing you're going to get out of the retail packs are those retail exclusive cards, which is great. So, um, all right. So now while I take my foot directly out of my mouth... <laughs> <laughs> uh, and finish what I was saying about retail packs. So I'm saying that retail packs are for those Jones and out there that need a good fix. They, they haven't opened up a pack in a while and they, they just, there's nothing around them. And, and then they stumble upon one of these. And I think we have another wonderful retail pack here. We've got a Chrome 52 and another blue. So maybe uh, the saving grace for these, you know, let's uh, let's just see here. The cards are right here, so you know, nothing, nothing fishy here. Let's see if they say anything about the um, the Walmart blue. Um, I don't see it on here. Um, what they say for the Walmart blues, but um, if there's one Walmart blue per retail pack, well, then that's a huge reason to to do it. Um, but um, for everything else, let me quickly run down the list. Um, for retail, you're looking at rainbows, which is hilarious because, no, we don't have a rainbow in this one. But rainbows, we got one in 10 packs. So the last pack was great uh, for that. 
that little guy. Uh, and gold is one in 23 packs. And then short prints is one in 69 packs. And those are the ones that I broke down uh, just to take a look at. Um, but you guys can feel free to pause the video. Look at that. A Luis Robert Chrome 52. Love that. That's a beautiful card. That's a gorgeous card. Probably won't end up being on the stand for the whole video, but we'll, we'll take it. Uh, Josh Bell is our other retail exclusive blue. So that's nice. And then we got a Rafi Devers and right behind it is a big boy, Alec Baum. Here we go, base card. Raphael Devers getting zero, zero time in the sun. No, no spotlight for him. So we'll go right back to him because that's a beautiful card. Um, Gavin Lux and John Lester will round us out. So um, I'm off to a terrible start because this is two retail packs and I'm just, my foot is firmly planted in my mouth. Um, but the numbers do not necessarily support it. You're looking at about 18 cents a card. Get these bad boys open. Uh, you're looking at 18 cents a card. You're looking at the second to worst odds um, out of what we will take a look at today. And if you don't already know the numbers on what is the worst breakdown for this, I think you might be a little bit surprised. Uh, if you're in the know and you uh, you pay attention, we've got a rainbow foil, baby. Um, if you pay attention the past couple of years, you know which one is the best uh, odds. Aristides Aquino, Daniel Johnson, Dalton Varsho is a nice one. And we are going to get an angel for a rainbow foil. We're also going to get another rookie. We have a little Mike Trout, horribly off center. <laughs> a bad that's a bad oc um but still a great card oh look at this next card what a beautiful beautiful series this was i want to say oh man i want to say 97 was that 97 does it tell you what it is on here it doesn't um this was a beautiful set loved that and a beau bichette right behind it and a Fernando Tatis Jr. right behind him for the 52 set. Those are great. Um, all right, so for the fat pack slash value pack, whatever you'd like to call it, we got an Evan White here. Um, you are looking at the best odds to get a rainbow foil. Um, so not super shocked. Evan White gets sleeved up. We'll put him put him on the in the rookie pile right there. Uh, Luis Garcia, he's going to get sleeved up too. Um, you're looking at the best odds with a one in four fat pack. Um, that's what you're getting for, for odds on rainbow foils. And then you're getting, uh, a one in 11 on, um, gold cards, which is also great. Um, and then for short prints out of the fat packs, you're getting a one in 33 chance at a, uh, at a, a short print. So I didn't do the advanced short print cause I'm like, you know what? Someone, someone else can look at, look for that if they want. Um, we are going to save, I think we're going to save the hanger box for last. We are going to jump right into the blaster box here. Um, blaster box. Oh, I should say the, uh, the fat pack also is your best value per card that we have. That's, uh, 14 point or 14 cents a card. Um, 14.9, basically. And then there's a bunch of other repeating numbers after that. All right, coupons just flew out of there. All right, we've got, we're going to get this out of the way. And this is why, part of the reason why I want to do this early, because this right here is part of the problem for the, whoa, that just ripped right open. We are going to get a Mike Trout. So there we go. As far as this card goes... Uh, if you're not going to get a, a parallel, which this does not look like it's a parallel, so it's not numbered, but it is a Mike Trout, so not too shabby. We'll take it. Uh, we don't have a sleeve for it, but we'll just kind of bloop right there. Um, so for the uh, blaster, we're looking at 20 cents a card. That's the most out of what we're reviewing today. 
And as far as the odds go, we're looking at a rainbow foil and one in 10 packs. Luis Patino. Very nice. Put that in the rookie pile. Um, you're looking at a gold in one in 27 packs. So right there, you're looking at the worst odds. Joe Adele, there we go, 52 rookie. Very nice. And like I said, as much as I love that Luis Robert card, it's not, not long to stay up there. Joe Adele and his 52 is going to replace it. Matthew Boyd. Um, and then for when it comes to short prints, keep in mind, we're looking at retail, one in 69 packs. Fat packs, one in 33. Sorry if I just bumped the camera there. Make sure I didn't. There we go. Um, one in 33. And then we'll, we'll talk about the hanger in a second. Blasters is one in 79 packs for a... Uh, a short print and that is that's a tough pull we got a nice little platinum piazza i think i actually already had this one so that's a bummer I think, i'm pretty sure i did bryce harper there we go um i do believe yep there we go madrigal is going to come right after him um and i do believe in the blaster though you're going to get one 52 uh, throwback card per pack. So that's also another reason to, to collect the, the blaster, if that's what you're aiming for. It's one of the best chances you got to complete the set. So far, what I've seen is the Mega Box being the absolute best for that. So uh, we are not gonna get a rainbow foil in this one. And uh, if we get a rainbow foil, it's you know one in 10 packs. So we don't, we're not guaranteed one by any means out of a blaster. Oof, a lot of landscape cards. We got a Josh Donaldson, but we do get Alec Bomb. There we go. So we're pulling two Alec Bombs, and this is great because uh, I was going to do a post on this on Twitter, so you'll see this. But check out the new rainbow to collect for Alec, Alec Bomb this year, and that is a oversaturated print and an undersaturated print. So you're going to see a lot a lot of variations there this year, which is not great. With it, you know, Nico Horner was the biggest defender last year. Uh, with some of his jerseys almost looking purple. Um, but uh, Alec Baum, you're going to see a lot of saturation issues with uh, with his print. So interesting to see. I love. We're going to get a home run challenge card in here, I believe, or it's going to be the um, 86 throwback. I can't remember which one that is. All right, so we're going to get a Nate Pearson. So yeah, so Blaster is really, and again, that's $19. You're, you're settling in for, uh, what is it, 97, 98 cards. Um, you know, Nate Pearson, you're going to go here with Evan White. You're going to hang out there. That's where we're going to put you. Um, Austin Meadows, Mookie Betts. All right, so it is the, uh, the 86 uh, insert card. And I saw it was that red back, not the home run challenge card. Um, so Blasters, you're getting about 98 cards. You're paying $20 for it. You're getting the absolute worst. Now, here is the home run challenge. I was just one pack early, apparently. Um, yeah, you're getting the absolute worst odds to get everything. So, um, you know, if we do pull a short print out of this, it's uh, nothing short of a miracle. Jordan Alvarez, I believe that's my second one for him. That's great. Nice little home run challenge card. I'm just going to prop it up here because I'm not super, super concerned with the... Uh... There we go. We get J.D. Martinez giving him no, absolutely no acknowledgement. But Bobby Dahlbeck right behind him. That's my boy. You know what? Let's trigger some people. Let's get some people angry. We're gonna take down a rainbow foil Mike Trout and put up a base Bobby Dahlbeck rookie card. What do you think of that, people, huh? What do you think of that? Joe Adele, Tyler Stevenson, rounding out the pack. So that's excellent. Joe Adele, we're gonna go right in front of Joe Adele. That's what we're putting there. Oof, as I just completely bend the corner of Tyler Stevenson. So 
So now the corner's good, but that was a uh, that was a harsh maneuver there. G dubs. So we are saving the hanger box for the end, and the reason for that is because it is 100% the absolute best. Oh, I just do not like these cards. What a waste. Mike Trout, 52. I don't think I actually had that one yet, so that's great. Eddie Alvarez. We get a Casey Mize rookie. There we go. He can join his buddy, the Rainbow Foil, up there. We're going to put him behind, though, because that Rainbow Foil gets prime placement. And then where is there is a Casey Mize? There is a six, though. So very nice. So, yeah, what I was saying about the... Um, the terrible odds of this you're paying for this card here the you're paying basically five bucks for that medallion card and in some years that's it's been a fun card to collect you know the the, the rookie medallion ones from uh from last year were great um so i don't want to completely poo poo it we're getting a a chrome 52 which is nice cody whitley rookie um I always try to at least call out some of the rookies, <laughs> even if I don't think that they're unbelievable, because, you know, you never know when you might look back at this video and be like, did I not even mention Cody Whitley? <laughs> Joey Votto, Chrome, throwback, very nice. And then, actually, we'll put, yeah, that goes there. Blake Snell, 52. And that'll round that out. So now we're on to the new and improved blaster. I believe I opened up one of these uh, on this channel already. I love that they are putting it in uh, plastic and that it opens up on the side over here. Kudos to them for that. I heard someone, I don't um, open anything but tops, basically. I'm uh, absolutely a tops uh, snob. When it comes to that, I uh, the most I'll ever dabble into is the uh, um, not Gypsy Queen, uh, bu 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 Diamond uh, Diamond Kings um, from the uh, the way back Panini Don Rust throwback. Oh my goodness! Are you seeing this? This is the wrapper that won't end. This is unbelievable. What a poor, poor showing here. But you know what? This is a uh, this is a wonderful example of what I'm talking about. It's keeping people out of the boxes so they're not doing the push-in thing anymore. You know, you don't have to rip through the bottom to get to, you know, the, the cards. Uh, so it ab absolutely is a better uh, delivery device. Now, I will say... Tops, just just give us this. And also, if you're going to do this, put it in the middle. You know, protect it a little bit. That's crazy how they do that. But right on the top, we're getting Dalton Varsho, which is nice. And we're definitely getting some Walmart Blues in here, which is great. Um, and so, without further ado, the absolute rock star out of this retail review is the Hanger Box. Now, we'll see what we pull out of it. You know, that'll... That'll uh, possibly, I'll just put this pile just over here so you can see it on screen. You don't think I'll have any uh, hanky-panky going on. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to pick it up because then you're going to be like, you stashed it. We are going to get a rainbow foil, so that's excellent. Um, Cody Whitley, again. Got to make sure I mention him just in case. <laughs> uh, Jay Bruce. So we are looking at 67 cards. It is uh, 17 cents per card. Uh, so not bad in that regard. However, here is where it becomes an absolute all-star. It's not a surprise we're getting a rainbow out of here because you're getting a rainbow one out of two hanger boxes. So that, talk about an absolute rock star. If you are collecting rainbow foils, you're going to want the hanger boxes. And if you want golds, they're one in six. One in six for a gold. Like that is something that tops needs to take a look at you're giving a one in six chance in a hanger box that you're selling for a uh, eleven dollars and 98 cents uh chadwick trump there um so that's what you're doing for the the hanger box retail and a jumbo box that's getting sold for like 200 something dollars you're not even guaranteed you know 
uh, like you put a gold in every pack or something like that, you know? So we're going to get, no, that's right. I put it on the bottom. I was going to say, we're getting two Dalton Varshows out of this? Can't keep track. Um, you know, so they need to step up. The, the, the jumbo needs to warrant having that, you know, price tag on it. So it looks like we're going to get a Christian Pache and an Isaac Paredes. So there we go. Way to round out the rookie class. I believe we're just missing Tarek Skubal. And if I'm doing some quick math here, I, I think that's it for the big boys. We're going to put Pache actually up here with the Luis Robert Cup. So we're getting another rainbow foil. And also here is the absolute hidden gem of this and why the hanger box is king when it comes to... There we go. Oh, Joey Bart and... Uh, oh, why am I blanking on... I know Dylan Carlson, but uh, who's the... Uh, Oh my goodness, the other catcher. Uh, we're going to put Bart right there. Mountcastle is the other guy we're missing. Uh, and we're going to put Dylan Carlson. As, as much as I love you, buddy, we are putting you down in the rookie pile. Yeah, so we are missing Mountcastle. I totally forgot Bart, Dylan, uh, Carlson, and Mountcastle. Tim Anderson. Uh, let's flip these around. So, ooh, are we not getting a... We are getting a rainbow foil, but we're also getting a chrome 52. Uh, Evan White, we got another one of his rookie cards. Very nice. So the absolute stud of a hanger box is because you're getting a short print and one in 17. One in 17. That is unbelievable. So if you're looking for short prints, you want to buy hanger boxes. They're the cheapest one out there. And so, you know, for 11 bucks, you buy them, you buy them up and the resale value on these is going to be you know incredible you know because you're gonna and then well that's the the other thing is ooh, oh do we we have a vintage stock nolan arenado wow was not expecting that i didn't look up the uh the odds on that so let's just hold on on that because i know that that is a uh that's a tough pull i'll give you the blaster and i'll give you the uh ooh, this Bo Bichette is horribly off center too Vlad Guerrero, Rainbow Foil, very nice. Bo Bichette and Fernando Tatis, they, they seem to follow each other. Christian Yelich and then a Rafi Devers as well. So we're going to get a couple blue in here as well. And the first one is going to be Garcia. And the next one's going to be Wilson Ramos. And then we got a little Frank Thomas die cut and Brandon Woodruff to round us out. So um, here is the... Vintage stock, 91 out of 99. Beautiful card. Let's take a look at the odds. I'll give you, like I said, Blaster, and I'll give you the hanger, because I assume Blaster is going to be one of the worst, and hanger is going to be one of the best. So there we go. That's a beauty of a card. That's gorgeous. That is going to sit up there with Christian Pache. All right, so when we are looking at, and I'll give you these for the uh, for those of you who like to get the odds, vintage stock is a 1 in 116. Whoa! That is a tough, tough pull. In years past, I don't think it's been that tough to, to pull vintage stock. Uh, vintage stock is 1 in 550 packs for a blaster. Holy moly! That is a tough, tough pull. So uh, that gives you a little frame of reference. So there you go. Uh, if you want the absolute MVP of retail, it, it look no further than the hanger box. That is the king. And uh, so the problem is for resellers, like if you look at Topps uh, 2019 Series 2, you're selling like hanger boxes for like 50 or 75 bucks, but you're selling blaster boxes for 150, you know, somewhere around there, 130, 150. But I, if I were you, I would be going out and buying all of the series two 2019 hanger boxes. Cause you're, you're probably, I don't know the odds specifically, but if they're anything like 2021, the odds are definitely in your favor for hanger boxes. So not too shabby of a pull here. Absolutely crushed it with two Alec Baum rookies. We got the Casey Mize rainbow foil. We have 
a couple Joe Adels. We got the 52 back there. We've got the Nolan Arenado uh, vintage stock. We've got the Evan White 52 Pearson. We got just about every rookie. We missed out on Mount Castle, Scooble, and I'm probably forgetting someone else as well. But for most of the big ones we got. Um, and um, got a home run challenge. What what more can you ask for? We, we even did okay with a... a uh, a manufactured relic so thank you guys so much for watching i don't want to tell you guys this but go buy hanger boxes because that's absolutely 100 percent the way to go uh, and with soaring prices and jumbo boxes and hobby boxes i mean from my biggest takeaways from this year i'll save it for a, a later video but mega boxes and hanger boxes and fat packs retail that's that's what i'm looking at retail baby all the way so Thank you guys so much. I'm so excited for opening day. Let me know what you guys are thinking for your teams. I'm not even going to go into the Red Sox one in this one because holy moly, they are, they're not looking good this year, but uh, I'm still excited because it's opening day. So make sure you like the video, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on the retail spread uh, and what your favorite is, what you're stashing, what you pick up, what you, what you rip. Uh, I want to know all of that. And then, um, Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter at GDubsCollects and keep the hobby alive. Keep on collecting.